Hey, Noob Noob, have you ever been to Hogwarts? Yeah, I went there with my boy, Harry Potterstein. All right, friends. I have, I know nothing about um, the greatest series and saga of all time. What, Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. It's amazing. I, I know nothing about Harry Potter. I have never, no, I've never read the books. I'll bring my wand over and you can play with it. I've never watched the show. Like, okay, so It'll there's unlock. only shows, right? Or there are movies. There's eight movies. Eight, aren't there like three more Seven movies? Seven books. With um, Those are fanatical Johnny beasts. Depp. Fana- no, he got canceled after the second one. Okay. For beating Amber Heard, allegedly. To death. Yeah, with his poop or something. Oh, no, she flung the poop at him. She, she flung poop. Fuck Amber Heard. So anyway, uh, there is a controversy going on, and we have a little bit of an update to it with uh, Jon Stewart on his podcast. I mean, Nunu doesn't know exactly what he's going to say, but we're going to play it for him so he can react to it. And then we're going to dive in a little bit because, you know, a show that came out 12 years ago or four, how, I don't know how many years ago it came out. Very long time ago. It, 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 yeah. It is now a problem for Jon Stewart. So let's, let's hear what he has to say for himself. Oh, I have to turn this up. Talking to people, what I say is, have you ever seen a Harry Potter movie? And people are all like, I love the Harry Potter movies. Like, you ever see the scenes in Gringotts Bank? And they're like, I love the scenes of Green Bank. He's like, do you know what those folks that run the bank are? And they're like, what? And they're like, Jews. And, and then that, I remember. And then that person says, no, goblins. <laughs> and then you go, and you're like, do you hear let, yourself? Let me show you this from, uh, it's the <laughs> Protocols of the Elders of Zion. I just want to show you a caricature. And they're like, oh, look at that. That's from Harry Potter. And you're like, no, <laughs> yeah. that's a caricature of a Jew from an anti-Semitic piece of literature. J.K. Rowling was like, can we get these guys to run our bank? <laughs> And you're like, this is, it's it's a wizarding mm. world. It's a world where it's you like. You can imagine anything. The train station has a half a thing and no one can see it. And we can ride dragons and you've got a pet owl. And who, who runs sh- the bank? Who should run the bank? <laughs> Jews? <laughs> Not only like, that. No, it's, I feel like she was like, why'd you make it so subtle? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's re- like, yeah, they look like Jews. But what if the teeth were sharper? And you're like, oh, okay. I truly, yeah. I was like 11 or 12 yeah. and was like, all like, I love Harry Potter. And I remember like being in the theater and being like, this kind of fucked up. No, you <laughs> didn't. No, it you might did have been not the first time that. I said the F word. <laughs> no. 11 year old Henrik does not swear. I was like, all right, so they just go on and on. That is not First true. off, There's who not, is that overtly gay black man? I, I don't know. It's all on uh, apparently Apple TV and uh, Jon Stewart's podcast. Yeah, whatever. Get him. I want to dead name him because he basically said goblins and Jews are the same thing. What? There is... First, uh, this is this is complicated. Part of what I think is... This is dumb. It's, it's pretty dumb, but you know what? People believe it. So there, there's a couple of points to this, right? First of all, John Stewart comes back and goes, he he wants to clarify this. He comes up the next day and goes, I need to make a clarification. I don't think that J.K. Rawlings is an anti-Semite. I did not accuse her of being anti-Semitic. I do think the, mo- the Harry movies are anti... I do not think they are anti-Semitic. I really love the Harry Potter movies. I'm probably too much for a gentleman of my considerable age. So he's trying to play it off as it's a joke. Right. Okay. Which fine. I could have. Okay. I could have. It's fine. And it he's like, like you a know, joke. Apparently, he's mad at um, you know, Newsweek. I don't know. Should we hear what he has to say for himself? Sure. Okay. We are back. We are we are doing the podcast again. We had a lovely uh, break. Lovely is probably overstating it. It was quarantine and a a, a terrible terrible. Uh, how many podcasts does he do like, with how many people? Wreaking havoc. But before we get going. I have to address this. This is this is bonkers, guys. So, if you remember, like a month ago, I recorded one of the podcasts with Henrik and Jay, right? Yep. Yeah. There's one of your and boys, we were Henrik and Jay. About all kinds of stuff, and we started talking about bar mitzvahs, and then Jay uh, said something like he he did a funny riff on it, like uh, what chapter of Harry Potter was that? And we went off on a Harry Potter thing, right? Mm-hmm. There is no reasonable person that could have watched it and not seen it as a light-hearted conversation amongst colleagues and chums. 
uh, <laughs> having a LARF, in, enjoying ourselves uh, uh, about Harry Potter and my experience watching it for the first time in a theater as a Jewish guy and, and how some tropes are so embedded in society that they're right. uh, basically invisible, okay. even in a considered process like movie making. Right? Okay, so guess what? <laughs> I'm going to call BS on that because I have proof. You want you want to know how I have proof that goblins are not Jews? No, that Sarah Silverman decided to take him seriously. Oh my God! So Sarah Silverman wades in, and she goes, and she is much like myself. I have never seen Harry Potter, and after watching the below and then seeing the clip in the thread, I am just kind of stunned. You know when you giggle, but it's really more fear than joy. This girl has been. So she's had some bad takes. <laughs> like, I get it. If he wants to say he was joking, that's fine. I kind of feel like he Sir was Silverman's joking. Silverman's going to be like, just kidding, guys. But those guys in the room were taking him seriously. Yes. Right? I am fairly certain that goblins were around. F- goblins are part of Celtic lore, and I'm going to say Celtics were might have been. Like, I don't see how Celtic and the Jews ran across each other. Like, I just don't know enough about history to say that that's true or not. But I don't, I don't, it doesn't see. seem like it makes a lot of sense. I don't see how that guy, Henrik, was like, at 11 years old, that's like, those guys definitely look like Jews that are in the Harry Yeah, Potter when he movie. was a kid, he's like, definitely like, that's them Jews. Like, come on. Like, that was just, none of that made any sense. And I'll give John Stewart, like, he's not usually one who makes, like, cri- I feel like he was doing a bit a little bit. But these guys, his two buddies, were not. They were buying into it 100%, yes? Yes, and they looked like they were about to scissor off stage. And then then Sarah Silverman clearly like just jumps on in. And it's like, uh, didn't she just do a movie making fun of Christmas and Christians? Oh, that's right, with Seth Rogen. Or yeah, whatever like, what are you doing? I don't, under- I don't understand. Christmas Inc. or Santa Inc.? Yeah. So, like, what is what is going on here? Why are people like getting and and I didn't show he actually showed pictures of what he's talking about. I he's just he's just wrong on this one, and I just thought it was pretty ridiculous. And since you're such a big giant fan, I figured you you would have some insight for us. I I call I don't J- even know what they're talking about. Very like, I'm very tight with J.K. Rowling, and I mm-hmm. called her, and she's like, you know what? Shit, he got me. <laughs> she, I, the real name of Harry Potter is Harry Potter Stein. <laughs> uh-huh. Wait, her, wouldn't that make him like... Hermione Greenberg? Actually, is is uh-huh. her not uh, Granger? It's, oh, okay. And uh, do you seen the scene he's talking about though? Aren't yeah. they like like they're fucking aren't they like goblins. monster? Like aren't they? Um, they're cute little goblins. Like ho- like hobbits, but with like pointy ears and sharp yes. teeth and stuff like that. Basically. Because I've seen a picture of it, so I, I, I know what they're talking they're about. They're fucking goblins. Well, I also don't understand. He's talking about the movies, right? Yeah. She didn't She didn't make the... J.K. Rowling didn't make those characters. Like, she didn't draw them. She didn't, like, make the prosthetics. She just... They bought... You know, they essentially bought the movies from her. Just like the the reunion, she, they won't even include her in the reunion. How much input? I'm sure she had some input on the movie, but do you really think she agreed? Yeah, let's split up the last two mo- the last movie into two parts so you guys can make more money. You know what I mean? Like her creative control seems fairly limited. All right, the Harry Potter the the last book was massive. It made sense to split that up. Oh, so it was much the sense. Hunger Games that was like a 200 page book, and they're like, you know what? We're gonna split that shit up in two movies. Either way, I still think. That there was more, you know, it was a cash grab. It doesn't matter. How much creative control did she really have over? She didn't like make a, those a characters. Amount. It's not like she made the characters, though. They just took an interpretation of whatever she did. And she was like, yeah, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, sure. Or you think she was in there like, no, let me craft this She's like, guy. a little more Jewish, please. Like, that's not doesn't make any sense. And for him to come back and be like, oh, we're just kidding. It's a joke. These tropes are so embedded. Dude, you are seeing shadows, my friend. You need to maybe you're seeing the shadow of the Grim Reaper as you get older. You need to back off a little bit, my friend. And Sarah Silverman just couldn't have more bad takes no. than Sarah Decker. Silverman sucks. She got just she got crushed for, you know, c- criticizing Joy Ann Reed. Like this 
she's a mess. You could watch there. There are clips of her brain exploding on air during her own podcast. That she's like, I didn't call. I'm not a racist. <laughs> like she, she got called a racist. So she's the bigot. Oh my god. Not J.K. Rowling. So I just thought that was kind of hilarious. And then him coming back and being like, oh, it's just a joke, everybody. I'm just kidding there. So how dare you besmirch Harry Potter and the goblins that are adorable and hold my my fake money. <laughs> you have all your Bitcoin in I uh, do. In Gribble. Oh my Grobble. wizard coin. What are they? Gribble Oh, that's right. They're wizard coins. They craft the wizard coins. They are. Is that what it is? Yeah. How come no one's come up with a wizard coin? Wizard bits or something. Wizard <laughs> wizard bits. Get, catch our brand new we, we will be offering a new blockchain coin. An NFT of wizard bits. Wizard bits. <laughs> is that what they're called? Expertly crafted from a mold of my wand. <laughs> Obviously. <Wink. laughs> so anyway, uh, be sure to catch our full length audio podcast. You can get it at Spotify, Stitcher, and iTunes for free. You can also catch our live streams, which we do Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we also hope that you like and subscribe, or else Noob Noob might do this. I will train an entire household of goblins to hold you down, take your shirt off. Why is it always holding someone down? Why can't it just be like, (laughs) I'm going to train an army of griffins to ride you out to your job and then take you, on a, <laughs> take you on a nice trip around the Grand Canyon Until, where we sightsee uh-huh. and just have some an, enjo- an enjoyable time, and then it's, tea and crimpets and then, had by all. And then as soon as you drop them off at your parents, then the griffin forcefully goes in. <laughs> why is And there, then just shits why everywhere. Why is there force? Just shits. <laughs> Just can't stop shitting. Oh my god! It's the strawberries you had during your picnic at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Obviously. So, so, please, if you want more of this lunacy, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one because we're on to the next one.